Dark clouds and gusts of wind rolled into Galveston Tuesday afternoon. The dangers of strong currents are marked by these red flags and no swimming signs. Some beachgoers ignored those warnings, but with waves this high and a potentially dangerous storm approaching, it was only safe to go waist deep. Here on Galveston Island, a popular beach in the Houston area where they've already gone through the devastating Hurricane Ike in 2008, and then Harvey after that, this water is very, very warm. The Earth does us a favor by absorbing 90% of its warming here in the oceans, but it comes with a trade-off. This is jet fuel for hurricanes and tropical storms. And that means cities along the coast are preparing. In Surfside, Texas, Mayor Greg Bisso went to the beach to stop people from swimming or surfing. Doing this for the safety of the public and also the safety of my employees, my officers, who would have to go out there and rescue these people if they got in trouble. In Corpus Christi, this RV park is three feet, if that, above sea level. It used to be much lower until an upgrade just a few months ago, according to police. Construction worker Greg Dowden is riding it out here. Maybe they'll tell us that we're time, we've got to evacuate. There are several different kinds of vehicles in that RV park. Some of them you can easily move. Some of you, re you really can't, but look at this storm surge coming through. We've got four to six feet of storm surge that is coming over the barrier island. That's protecting us from a lot of this. But remember, that's an event that's happening in Mexico, and these arms are stretching all the way into Texas. In Corpus Christi, Texas, I'm Dave Malkoff, CBS News.